So when you're assembling this, you get your skid. Skid looks like that. And then it depends on how you're gonna assemble the motor. For us, we're gonna put it on like this with the shaft facing horizontally. Pump will go like this. That way the electric start will be facing out on the trailer. We're using what is this, one inch, no, one, one and a half. One and a half inch, three eighths stainless steel. And then three eighths lock nuts, three eighths inch washers to attach it to the skid. We'll use four of those for the skid. And then we'll put some copper anti-seize on the shaft. This is the key in your shaft. And it's easier if you have somebody hold it in while you slide the pump on, or you can leave a zip tie on and cut it off if you're by yourself. You know, just once you get it on, you know, uh, then you can cut it. We need to change. All right, we're putting copper NICs on the shaft. And if, uh, Anybody needs, you know, I got this off Amazon. You know, it doesn't take a ton to spread it around, but you want this something on there in the event that you gotta pull your pump off. I mean, it's still probably going to take a pry bar, don't get me wrong, but there's a difference between a pry bar and not coming off. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to put the pump on with our four bolts and spacers. These things come with... There we go. Now that he's got it on, that's an easy spin. This is my recommendation to, before you snug it up, you get all your bolts and spacers started. And you can snug it up slowly. And you might knock one off, but you know. It happens. I'm pretty sure that they're. Mm -hmm. These Want to get him a bite, and hopefully your buddy doesn't crush your fingers. It's helpful when you got help, you know, like for stuff like this. Call your neighbor, ask you know somebody to come over. I mean, dude, most of you guys reach out to a local washer and explain to them what you're doing. And be like, man, I'll give you a case of beer. You know, probably come over and help you a whole lot. So, there you go. Like I, like I always say, it's just four bolts. That's it. And then Show the there's, the angle. Yeah, there's four bolts right there. You can see the mount, the pump, or excuse me, the motor to the skid. Okay, we're back. All right, so they ship with the sealed caps. And you replace them with the vented caps. These come in your bags. 
So the orange one goes in the pump, and then you remove the white one. The dipstick goes in the pump, and you pull the white one off the gearbox, and it comes with this one. Oil. And you put these on, and these are vented caps, so the caps that ship with are not the ones that you want to operate with. That's that's bad news. So you don't want to do that. But that's it. Now that your pump is ready, we'll plumb it up and that will be another video. But this is basically how you assemble the budget build. We bought a skid from PSI Pressure Washing. We bought the pump from Envirospec. We bought the engine from Harbor Freight. We got, we're using one inch bolts on the engine to hold it down. To add this skid, we switched to two inch bolts to put it through the skid. And then the Envirospec kit comes with pump or bolts. And there you go.